Jeff, what was the reaction to that report? Uh, it was, uh, I think that people, Dan, are still sort of suspended in uh, this, this area where they just don't think it's going to happen, where uh, that they, they think he will definitely go back to New England based on, I think at this point, nothing but the idea that we've seen this for 20 years and why should we expect any different? I think that's understandable, but it's not necessarily accurate. <laughs> but explain, is this a vibe you're hearing or was it a, like, no, I know, I know. I, I listened to you yesterday. I listened to uh, your segment yesterday on it. It's definitely not, for instance, like, I think you said, like, reporters re- talking to other reporters. Like, that's not how I operate. I'm not at the combine. I go to the combine mostly, but I'm not there. It's not, uh, you know, I've been covering the league for 15 years. I'm pretty dialed into the Tom Brady world and, and uh, all things there and, and have my contacts within that world. And so, so certainly when I'm, saying something i'm not saying it lighthearted nor am i saying it as a rumor that i heard at bar at the combine yeah that was what was confusing jeff because you're a you're a reporter you're a journalist and it and it felt like it was more of just a hey i'm on the show with greeny and get up and they want hot takes and hey i'm hearing this and that's where i i just didn't know how I, deep that the, the yeah, report was that, that might have been just the way you interpreted it i don't think um which is fine. I mean, I, I understand that's that's part of the deal. Uh, but like, for instance, you know, I didn't say. I, don't, I maybe I didn't use the word sources enough. I don't know if that's like the hot trigger word that people need to hear. But but like, did, I don't know. Did you catch the whole? Did you catch the segment where I talked about uh, the kind of the context behind it? How the people close to him kind of talk to him, and he says he's the one who tells them like to not expect him to go back, whereas. Those people are kind of like, yeah, but we still think like Tom will go in that office with Bill Belichick and he'll still find a way to convince, uh, you know, Tom to stick around. We, like, we we don't follow context here, Jeff. Yeah, that, but that was the thing. Like, I heard you talking about it yesterday, and I was like, I think he's just reading the tweet yes, from Schefter. Yes, I got the tweet. Right. That, that's Shefty. Like, yeah, but that's not me. But I can't watch <laughs> Get Up while I'm getting up that's on my own my show. Response. Though. That's that's uh, blame Shefty. That's that was poor it. reporting on Shefty's part. Well, you, you're the one who said when Shefty says it, you believe it. You said when Glazer says it, you believe it. Not when Darlington. In fact, I know. I got a lot of that from. I, by the way, I got a lot of that then yesterday from Patriots fans, which is my favorite. Which is who the <laughs> f is Jeff Darlington? <laughs> which, which, like, I get it. Like, right, when you say something that doesn't fit into what people want to believe they're going to go the other way and like i'll be honest like I, it sounds really I, what's can you say do, like uh it sounds lame for me to be like i talk to all of the people who know tom brady <laughs> you know like so i'm trying to walk this line of not sound like a tool but also <laughs> making sure that people understand i'm plugged in so like i get it but i'm also kind of like god i don't know i'm, I'm actually a pretty like reasoned i'd like to say i i have a decent reputation of being accurate with my reporting but i understand when it's something like this it just takes on this life it reminds me actually of like the tim tebow year in 2011 where everything just takes on a life of its own and that's fair i i understand that i think throwing in sources um because there's but that's also funny too wouldn't you make fun of that as well no like if we say source that all of a sudden no, no, no. validates it no not with you. I mean, there's certain guys I wouldn't. If you said, right. hey, sources, tell me, I know you're connected with Brady. Um, I understand that. But if, well, you, yeah. if you, you said sources, then I would have thought. If you look at some of the other tweets that have to do with Brady, oh I'm, my God. I'm hearing I'm about or, you know what, I'm feeling or getting the feel. Like, I don't know what is real and what is just. I understand that. And that's the landscape. That's the tough part. Like, yes. that's what I think we're all sort of working against and around and trying to figure out but all i know to do is just hope that eventually i build the reputation where dan patrick for instance isn't like who the hell is jeff darlington and i'm not believing it until adam Schefter says it which is fair Schefter has the reputation i get that and i'm not you know like hey by the way god i hope i'm right yeah i was gonna say <laughs> if, if if you hit the lottery here this this will be great because yeah, then well. then i'll be saying you know i trust what darlington says i'm not sure yeah. about shefty and glazer 
But to be clear, you like that's I mean, honestly, like that's I'm sitting here and I'm again talking to the people close to Tom yesterday. I'm like because we're all sitting here saying, but still, like, what if he goes into Belichick's office? What if he does convince him to stay? And what will happen then is I will never return to New England. And, uh, 